And he was like, how would you feel if I told you you're gonna come be with me in a Drake video? Mm -hmm. So it was me, all the guys in the entourage chilling in this like mansion that they rented out. <laughs> and Bieber's just playing piano, singing Boys to Men while we're all like eating pizza, chilling. I was the only one really singing along with them a little bit. And he's like, all right, what's the song we all know so we can all sing, guys? Come on, what, what do you guys wanna yeah. hear? And I was like, Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching Kids Take Over right now from Vancouver to LA. Um, we brought Tim over to our house, actually. What's up, bro? How's it going? Um, quick question. So, do you want people calling you just Tim now? Or like, what happens when people call you Timothy De La Guerra? I don't, I don't mind. It's not like, uh, I don't feel like, like, oh, you disrespecting me right now. You know, I just, you know, I, I don't really care. People can call me Timothy De La Guerra. I really don't care. When did you, uh, when did you change it? I changed it April of this year, 2020. Okay. Was there like a specific thing that made you want to change it? Like maybe your manager or someone was like, yo, you should change your branding. I have been contemplating it for a while, you know, and um, and if one thing really changed it, it was like I had like this just like existential epiphany during the Rona, you know, and I was thinking like, yo, if I died today, if I caught the coronavirus and died in like two weeks, how do I really want to be remembered? And then I was thinking like, let me just start embracing my long ass hard to pronounce Thai last name, when originally when I was trying to be like famous and do the acting thing, I thought like, okay, all the celebrities, you know, they, they make easier to remember names, almost like superhero names, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And I thought like, oh, okay, it's gonna be way easier to remember than Tim Chantharangsu, right? right? So then that's the original reason. You were like, how are white people gonna pronounce this? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna be accepting like, an Emmy Award or an Academy Award as Timothy De La Ghetto, That's you know? Fair. And even even when like I'm really I'm introducing myself to like casting directors and stuff, I feel weird being like, oh Timothy De La Ghetto. I'm like this 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 is you know let me embrace who, who I am fully, yeah. you know? And um and also there's like the more the younger the the audience gets and the more like woke they want to get, there were a lot of people that didn't know my name was from the Fresh Prince and they yeah. wanted to argue that it was like Problematic oh, and, I see, you know I see. what I'm saying? There's that, that whole thing, like, what am I, I'm trying to, like... Tick tock clock <laughs> by Raphael De La Ghetto. You know, I already get hit with the appropriation, so it's like the fact that, like, oh, fair. you're trying to glorify the ghetto and use it to your advantage, that you, whole thing. But the thing is, you've specified this Fresh Prince thing in, like, every <laughs> other video, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, but yeah. there's still people out there you. that don't watch my videos fair. that have a problem. And I was like, you know what, I've, I've been thinking about it already, let me just go ahead and use this year where I feel like the world was resetting yeah. to also reset a little bit. Good timing, I, I think it's good timing. Yeah. Well, well we're a hip-hop channel, right, so... The first thing I wanted to ask you, and something you don't talk about in too many of your videos, mm. is like the type of music you listen to. Oh, so, word. So I'm just kind of curious, like, if you were to like open up your Spotify or whatever, like, who are some <laughs> people we'd see on your on your playlist? Um, Spotify, right, like, let's see. Let's look on Spotify right now. What, yeah. What, 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 what'd you hear on my Spotify? Some Outkast. Okay. Um, I was listening to that new Taylor Swift. Okay. Kendrick Lamar. I listen to a lot of R&B, bro, yeah. to be honest. You like Summer Walker at all? I do like Summer Walker. This yeah, you cool. know, I feel like the girls are really killing the the R and B right oh, yeah. now. You know, SZA's new shit is great. Yes, the hit different song. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and she's so hot. Yeah. You know. You so. hear that Drake dated her in, in <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. She just clarified though. Oh nine, sorry. Oh nine. Yeah. Right. yeah so right. there was nothing silly going on. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's in a scale of like one to ten, because I know you were on No Jumper, right? So I know you're somewhat invested into rap. Yeah. Um, how deeply are you invested into rap from a scale of one to ten? As a listener or like a creator? Um, as a listener. As a listener, I'm, I'm pretty, like, ah. when you say invested, I'm like, I really do, like, care about hip-hop music, right? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. when, especially when I'm writing my own stuff, yeah. like, I really appreciate and value, like, lyrics. But not only that, I also appreciate, like, all aspects of it, like, just the, like, I'm gonna have fun and, and twerk vibes. and twerk vibes as well. Like you know, I I think I think hip hop is such a um, it's grown so much and evolved so much that like I don't even like the people that are that are like uh, you know uh, it don't have no it don't have no lyrics. Substance. How can you listen? To it? Yeah, no substance. I'm like I can appreciate it all. You right. know what I'm saying? And I also I, I feel like I, I grew up. I feel when when hip hop was really 
um, like the golden um, era, yeah. as they say, right? I'm like 80s baby and shit. But I'm not. I'm also not a, someone that's gonna knock the new kids as well. You I know. I mean, that. I don't. I don't listen to them as consistently. Yeah. But you know, I try to keep my ear to what's going on. That's cool. I appreciate the honesty. Um, that's cool. That's cool. I was telling you before this is like I used to watch a lot of your old videos because I'm 20 right now, mm -hmm. and I think. I used to watch your videos when I was like 12. Yeah. And you taught me a lot of things I probably should not have been taught <laughs> yeah. as a 12 year old. Yeah. Um, but I'm just curious, how do you right now view your old content that you made in like uh, 11, 12? Yeah, when you were 11, 12. In 2011, oh, 2012. 2011, yeah. 12. Yeah, man. Which is um, probably also when I was 11 or 12. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Damn, so probably like eight years ago. Yeah. And around that time is probably when my stuff was like getting the most clicks, I feel. Mm -hmm. um, you know, man, I, I, a lot of the stuff I watch and I like, I love it. Sometimes I watch my old stuff. I'm like, yo, this shit is hilarious. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I watch my old stuff and I'm like, ah, let, let me go ahead and private that. You feel me? <laughs> I'm dead. Um, I'm dead. The, the, the advice videos I gave, like the Dear Jelly Ghettos, I, I, I still think those were really important to a lot of kids. And I'm, I'm glad I did those because mm -hmm. there, there, there are dudes that come up to me now and they're like, yo, man, I was watching you when I started elementary school. I just graduated from college. Like yeah. you helped me get through high school. Some of the sketches I was really proud of. Yeah. And some of them, like, I guess, you know, you could say haven't aged well. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If, if we're going to talk about something being a little problematic, I'm like, all right, all right, yeah, let me, let me go ahead and get rid of that one. <laughs> I was going to ask you that later. I'm like, you know what? Let's just not ask that. But you brought it up. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. sometimes it's, certain things we laughed at back then, you, uh, you know, it's, it's different now. The times have changed. Time, times have changed. I'm not mad at it. You know, uh, I feel like people evolve, the, the, the world evolves. That's okay if we want to be more aware of, of, of how we consume content. So I'm like, but at the same time, you know, of course, there's some things where I'm like, ah, man, this is, ah, I wish we could still laugh at this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, yeah. But let me go ahead and private that anyways. Yeah. But, you know, things are different. You got to roll with it. You got to evolve with the times. So I get right. it. Dude, what the hell happened to, to Tim's Bakery? I'm so mad at you for, I'm just like mad at you for, Yo. I don't know, did you delete the channel? Yeah. Those were, in my opinion, even better than Dear De La Ghetto's. Bro, people love Tim's, like the, the, the people that love Tim's Bakery really, really love Tim's Bakery. Um, so Tim's Bakery, you know, was my style channel, right? Yeah. The more I got into kind of like the style side of YouTube, um, comments just got really annoying. Like, <laughs> well, I do know what the the style side of YouTube was like really like critical. Yeah. They're like, oh, you, what do you know about this brand? It's yeah. Like, Shut up. Let me wear the clothes. Bro, man. it was, it was that. It was yeah. more and more that. Like, yeah. not only was it that, but it was also like, it was people watching my videos to see how I would dress, uh -huh. but they would be so annoying and critical about everything, about yeah. choices and this and that. I was like, you know what, man? I don't even feel like dealing with it. And then, so I just, I stopped uploading. And then I was like, I got all these subscribers that I'm not using on this channel. Let me, um, rebrand the channel so yeah. I privated like 90% of the style videos and started uploading other stuff mm -hmm. um, I was trying to make like a little channel for my parents but then that didn't really go anywhere well I'm always mad at you for that but, but <laughs> what is uh, you talking about your parents like dude what is your dad up to now I know they closed down the Thai Smile restaurant a yeah, couple years ago they sold it a few years ago yeah uh -huh. yeah, yeah. yeah what has um, your dad been up to they're chilling now you know they're just like uh, at home trying to get used to like not working you know asian parents are very they're so used to working so hard that once they actually retire they kind of don't know what to do with themselves yeah and um they're just like hyped to to like be grandparents pretty much yeah, yeah. yeah so congrats by the thanks, way thanks man congratulations thanks. That's, that's huge thanks bro yeah. yeah well does your dad know uh about the did your dad know that you were in a drake video <laughs> did that have any like significance to him or was it just like okay cool my dad my dad when he when he found out well first he was like he heard I was in, he thought I was in a Justin Bieber video, right? Okay, because yeah. cause Bieber was in that video. Yeah. And I was like, well, it's actually a video for Drake. And I'm I like, mean, that's equally as cool. But, yeah, but. I mean, I think so too. Yeah. And he was just kind of, but you know, in, in, as far as artists, the, the person that my dad would probably recognize more is Bieber, you know what okay, I'm saying? Okay. So when he, uh, he asked me about that and he was like, so is, is Drake like, is he like, is he like big? And I'm like, <laughs> like, he's probably like the biggest <laughs> like uh, artist out you know, right now, you know, pretty much. And yeah. then my, my dad's like, oh, okay. Like, he's like, he's like, a, he's a big rapper. I'm like, yeah. My dad's like, b bigger than like Ludacris? Because my dad knows who, my dad knows who Ludacris is, right? Because yeah. I was a big Luda fan. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, yeah, probably. Probably dad. like 20 times bigger than Ludacris. But, yeah. <laughs> what was cooler, the Justin Bieber cameo or the, the kid? To, him? <laughs> <laughs> to them? Yeah. To I them. didn't give a fuck about, about okay. Drake. Yeah, yeah. They, they just want me to have that baby, man. Fair. That's it. That's fair. Well, what was the story of you getting in the video? It was super random, actually. Yeah. Um, King Batch hit me up. He randomly called me and he was like, yo, what are you doing Thursday? I'm yeah. like, uh, chilling. 
And he was like, how would you feel if I told you you're going to come be with me and play Justin Bieber's Entourage in a Drake video? And I was like, Psh, I guess not. <laughs> I was like, yeah, cool. Dog. Yeah. Let's do it. Like yeah. super random, but you don't have any questions about it. Like when this, when you know. Nah, like, nah, nah. Yeah. I was just like, cool. Just let me know when to show up. You know, and, yeah. and I mean, you've been on Wild and Out, so you've been around so many celebrities. So yeah. I feel like you were you weren't like starstruck or whatever when you saw Bieber, right? Well, I, I, it wasn't the first time I met Bieber. So like, oh, okay. I, I met Bieber a couple times before. Um, one time at a random ass birthday party uh, for a mutual friend, and then we had, we we talked like briefly because he. Uh, I, he had retweeted one of my YouTube videos years ago, or his oh, manager, which one? Scooter Braun did. Scooter okay, Braun okay. retweeted a video where I was, um, Scooter Braun re retweeted a video where I was defending Bieber. Okay. Like, this is years ago. This was like, bangs baby Bieber, you Wait, know? what was, what were you defending Bieber on? I was just saying y'all should leave Justin Bieber alone, and then like, uh, he's, he's a talented little kid, you know? Oh, I do remember you making videos about Selena Gomez. And then, okay, so, <laughs> and then, and then there was another video where, where I reenacted a fan, like, who was crying because she met Justin Bieber. I reenacted it. I think he retweeted that one. Okay. And then so what's, what's funny about the Selena Gomez video, because yeah. I, you know, I wrote that love song about Selena Gomez. And then, um, so when I got invited to the homie's birthday where I met Bieber, the homie was like, yo, so Bieber's coming through with Selena Gomez. You know, you, you could talk to Selena finally. I was like, I'm not about to, yeah, I'm not about to be like, I, girl. I wrote this song about you while Bieber's right there, you know? Yeah. Um, but I, I talked to Bieber just on some like random shit and then like you know we I feel like we, we, we did this on the dance floor for a few seconds yeah that's so cool yeah it was cool well with the with the latest one the pop star video did you uh did you get to like interact with Bieber and stuff like did he somewhat remember you yeah super yeah. random okay he definitely remembered me you yeah. know because like I said we've been been around each other yeah. just like in random times and then um <laughs> like for the most part when we were filming when it wasn't his turn to film he was just off in his own like trailer or whatever but yeah. There was one part, it was like nighttime, we were about to shoot this pool scene. We were ha having a little pizza break, right? So mm -hmm. it was me, all the guys in the entourage chilling in this like mansion that they rented out. And Bieber's just playing piano, singing voice to men while we're all like eating pizza, chilling. And yeah. I was like, oh, this is nice. That is nice. This, this is nice. Yeah. You know? And he was like, he kind of stopped because I was the only one really singing along with them a little bit. And he's like, all right, what's a song we all know so we can all sing, guys? Come on, what, what do you guys want to yeah. hear? And I was like, this is this is pleasant. Yeah, yeah. that is pretty pleasant. Damn, I <laughs> wish I was there. Fair, well, dude, what happened to Just Rain? You tell me. Dude, I thought you would know. You you guys, I thought you guys, you know, you've made some content in the past. Yeah. I know, like, two days ago, he re-uploaded, um, like, he... Before it was just he took it down, but his Instagram page is up now. Is it? Yeah, but there's no posts and stuff. Mm. But it's just like this. Everyone in the world has been wondering. Obviously, people I talk to because yeah. I'm brown, so he's like our hero, pretty much. Right. But yeah, like, do you have any clue what happened to him? I have no clue. I actually didn't even know he had gone like MIA. Um, I texted him one day, just asking him about something random, and then, and then, uh, and then I was just like, "Yeah, hey, how you been? You good?" He's like, "Yeah, I'm cool, chilling, blah blah blah." And I had no idea that he was like off. All social oh, media yeah. and then um i went to tag him in something i reposted a clip of of the bounce video yeah. that me and him did and uh, yeah thank you and i was <laughs> and i was trying to tag him and i was like where's his instagram and then i realized oh shit, it's gone i went to twitter all his shit was gone yeah. and um so i i have no idea why i didn't ask oh, okay. i felt like um he had his reasons whatever he wanted to do so yeah. um i was just like i'd already texted him like a, a week or two earlier and he, he seemed like he was cool so i was yeah. like All right, i just left it alone yeah as long as he's not like in harm or whatever yeah you know? yeah man I, I hope just Rain comes back i feel like he would destroy tiktok like if he even yeah if he wanted step. to yeah i see you doing your tiktoks too here and there bro yeah. you know tiktok is kind of like that i don't really know what to do on there I just kind of throw whatever on i there. hear you yeah. but yeah i don't know you know just rain like i always tell people my favorite video i've ever done is that video i did with just rain really yeah, ever like ever Ever. And now I guess he retired or I don't know. I don't know what he's doing, man. Maybe he's just taking a little mental break. Yeah. So who knows? Yeah. Every year in YouTube, there's like at least one or two like really big YouTube trends, right? Mm -hmm. At some point it was like, oh, like shit. I don't know, uh, Lakers fans say. Okay, there was the YouTube pranks uh, trend and the mm -hmm. social experiments, right? Mm -hmm. um, what do you think was like the worst or stupidest trend in the past <laughs> 10 years? Man. I'm definitely not a fan of the, like, when the pranks got really saturated and then you could tell when they got super fake. Yeah. Um, fake pranks weren't my favorite, but hey, man, whatever works, I guess. Yeah. I feel like the, the dumbest trend is recently, like the past two years, is the boxing trend. Every, out of nowhere, everyone just acts like they're an expert on boxing. Um, Logan's about to fight Mayweather, right? 
Really? Yeah, Logan Paul is about to fight Mayweather for a little like quick like one round expedition or something like okay. that. Okay. Okay. Well, I just think that the I think the weird part is like, <laughs> you know, a lot of people do it to settle their beef, right? Right. But it's like, why does boxing determine who is right in the beef? It, like, what if um what's his face Bradley Martin had beef with like, I don't know, like like Fred or something like, you know? <laughs> and if and let's say Fred was in the right, you know, but if he loses, does that mean he was wrong? Like Honestly, man, I think it's all just to 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 get the check. To be honest, I think a lot of it is fake beef. I've even had, you know, I've had YouTubers in the past hit me up with some like, yo, we should start a fake beef so we can put out diss tracks towards each other. Yeah. And that was never like my thing. You yeah. know, I'm like, ah, I'm good. I'm like, right. What are some, uh, what are like three YouTubers you watch right now? Do you watch the Nelk Boys at all? Um, I've been in a Nelk Boy video. That's the only reason why I knew who they were. Wait, which video were you in? It was like, it was Tana Mojo's birthday party and they were yo, pre you, pretending to be paparazzi. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was the only reason, because like they dropped the video, and then people were like, like tagging me, and I was like, "What is this?" Yeah. And then that's how I knew how they were. Yeah, but I said they're killing it. We don't need her. We need you too. Come on. Okay. You know what? I'm feeling this. I'm going in. I'm trying to get the uppy again. Let's go. Show me some magic. Hell yeah. Um, YouTubers I watch right now. Let me go to my history. I'll tell, I'll tell you right now who I watch. There's a there's a, a channel that makes. It's like a list of like no. what, like Watch Mojo type. Stuff? Yeah, like yeah. Watch Mojo, but not Watch Mojo. It's the it's it's the British guys. Who are the British guys? Probably like UK Watch Mojo. Or something. Nah, nah, they all have British accents. Hold on, dog. I'm gonna tell you right now. Just give me a second. Jeez, yeah. relax. Just just relax, bro. You're the one, man. <laughs> yeah, it's not me. I really I really just want to know for myself now. Um, what is this channel, bro? Dude, you have to find it now. If you don't, the whole interview will be a, a disappointment. It's, um, it's killing me. They're yeah. British. It's not ah. Uh, what culture is the name? Oh, of I know it, dude. What culture is sick? They make like um, videos on everything. Yes. Like okay. wrestling. Uh, yeah. So it's like a list channel, but I enjoy them because it's all British dudes, and yeah. I just I, I dig their accents. Would you, you just know? not enjoy it if it weren't British? It's dudes? just more enjoyable when it's a British accent. Okay. I feel, you okay. Know? Fair. Yeah. yeah. No, I could see that. <laughs> um, last thing I want to ask you, very very random, were you in LA or like did you remember the time when July fifteenth happened? Dude, I had to ask you this. That's so funny because um, I just had FouseyTube on my podcast. No way. And that episode is going to drop in like two weeks. No way. That's such a coincidence. Yeah, no, I was not. I was in LA, but I was at home chilling. Oh, shit. He, he did text me. He okay. did text me to go to that event. And I, and I wasn't available. You know what? I might have been out of town, come to think of it. Yeah. Because I was about to make a joke like, oh, he, he didn't even invite me. But he did text me. Yeah. And um, and I don't remember why I couldn't make it. I might have even been in, been in Canada with with my lady chilling. Yeah, you know? in Who Vancouver. Knows? No, Regina. Who goes to Regina? That's I, like the last place you go to in Canada. I've been flying back and forth to Regina for the past uh, six years, bro. Did she live there? <laughs> yeah, that's oh, where she's that's from. Why? Okay, okay. Yeah, no keep your Regina clean, you know. Dude, oh my God. <laughs> Dude, you gotta you gotta go to the other places of Canada. That's like uh, oh, trust me, I wouldn't go to Regina if she wasn't living okay, there. Okay, yeah, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Well, um, what did it say? July fifteenth, right? Yeah. So you didn't <laughs> go, but you gotta watch all the stuff that happened, right? I, I've seen I've seen the the, the YouTube videos. That was it. a golden era of YouTube. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, everything about that was like Netflix level. Like, yeah. <laughs> I saw the little like mini documentaries about it and yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, very last thing I want to ask you actually is because mm -hmm. so. I started this channel like I think a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. um, it was really just like from my mom's house, kind of like how you did yours, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's really fun, you know, picking up traction and like getting to meet like celebrities and rappers and whatnot. Do you have any advice um, going forward to like someone who's like 20? Because I think you started around that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just how to stay motivated and whatnot. Yeah, man, I feel like in terms of staying motivated for you, you know, you're brand new. Like how long you been doing it for? Like a year and a half. Yeah, bro. You're like you're pretty much like a new channel. You yeah. know, you already you got some good um, good content up. I feel like you know you just gotta stay consistent. You know, these yeah. kids always want content all the time. You know, and I feel like don't let it burn you out. Um, like yeah, be consistent, but also like do it at your own pace. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because I think a lot of people that are in like the whole internet social media field, they they fall into the pressure of like constantly having to crank shit out and they don't balance it out with any time for themselves you know and then that's when like you kind of lose the joy and the love for it and you get unmotivated yeah so man just you know make sure you're, you you're having fun and you're enjoying what you do and then you'll you'll keep wanting to do it you know awesome word Dude. sick i appreciate that a lot um well yeah guys this tim i'm not gonna say dale i got i'm just gonna say tim next youtuber you gotta get on the platform is fuzzy tube i'm letting you guys know hit him up yeah bye right, cool you got you're watching kids take over and this is Tim Chantaronksu. Fire.
Yo, thanks for watching that video, guys. I just want to say that there will be a huge, and I mean a huge announcement on our Instagram this week. I think this is the announcement that you guys have been waiting for since two years. So just stay tuned and don't say that I didn't warn you. But yo, let's do the top comment of the week. So on our last video, Job said, this is genuinely the best interview of the LA trip, no cap. Yo, Job, I really, really appreciate that. And I actually agree with you. It's the best. Um, so you guys can go watch that somewhere over here and click the subscribe button.